Thank you for your interest in viewing our Makor Glass Ceramic Machining Methods video. Morgan Technical Ceramics has been one of Corning's premier suppliers of Makor for many years. Morgan Technical Ceramics, our Wesco Ceramic Division, has over 60 years experience machining ceramics. Some of the many advantages that Makor Glass Ceramics offer include excellent electrical and thermal insulation, zero porosity, maximum no load temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, and machinability with common metal working tools. For your convenience, Morgan Technical Ceramics offers online purchasing of a wide selection of stock Makor Glass Ceramics sizes. This can be viewed at shop.wescoderamic.com. Our online shopping experience offers secure credit card payment via PayPal, faster processing time, ease of navigation through the site, as well as knowing your shipping cost at the time of purchase. Should you need a quote on a finished product or a non-standard size of Makor, or would just like to discuss an application, please feel free to contact us on our website at www.morgantechnicalceramics.com. We at Morgan Technical Ceramics hope you find the following video helpful. Please stay tuned at the end of the video for a special discount code that you can use at our online store, shop.wescoderamic.com. Proper machining speeds and generous amounts of water-soluble coolant is critical to the successful machining of Makor glass ceramics. While Makor can be machined with high-speed steel tools, it is recommended that carbide tools be used for longer wear resistance. For saw cutting Makor, a carbide grit blade with a band speed of 100 feet per minute is suggested. When turning the diameter of a Makor rod, a cutting speed of 30 to 50 surface feet per minute is suggested at a feed rate of 2 to 5 thousandth of an inch per revolution. It is also suggested that the depth of cut not exceed 250 thousandths of an inch. When milling Makor, a cutting speed of 20 to 35 surface feet per minute is suggested with a chip load of 2 thousandths inch per tooth. The suggested depth of cut is 150 to 200 thousandths of an inch. Diamond, silicon carbide, or aluminum oxide grinding wheels can easily be used to grind the surface of Makor to the most demanding tolerances. When drilling Makor, the spindle speed and the feed rate will vary depending on the drill size used. For a quarter inch drill, a spindle speed of 300 revolutions per minute is suggested at a feed rate of 5 thousandths of an inch per revolution. For a half inch drill size, a spindle speed of 250 revolutions per minute is suggested at a feed rate of 7 thousandths of an inch per revolution. For a one inch drill size, a spindle speed of 100 revolutions per minute is suggested at a feed rate of 12 thousandths of an inch per revolution. Keep in mind that these are only suggested machining methods and that parameters can vary depending on the size and shape of parts being machined.